Guys, um, today I decided I was going to record something from, like, you know, Capcom, because I'm a big fan of Street Fighter and Tekken. So I decided, um, because Capcom recently came out with this thing, uh, you probably can't see it because it's friggin' buffering, but my point is, Capcom never fails to disappoint me with, with Resident Evil 7 having come out, and the DLC having come out, because Not A Hero was friggin' awesome. I didn't get to play it on my channel, but I, I got first-hand look at it, so it was pretty fun. Um, today I'm gonna be trying to talk about this little intro here. Everything about, you know, Street Fighter V's arcade intro. And there are things about this that I really like. And uh, I've already watched it like four or five times and before I decided I was gonna actually talk to you guys about it, because I thought it was really cool. So I want to share this with you guys, assuming it will even... Oh, okay, it's loading, because my Wi-Fi kind of sucks. Sucks. 30th anniversary. This is going to be great. <clears throat> what I want to say is this is... Even better than the uh, first season's animation. Like that transition was beautiful. I like the drum beat. I like this music. I like how Akuma looks like a lion for some reason. Just seemingly trans. I don't know why people thought that Chun-Li was hot, was like ugly in um, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I thought she was pretty hot. <laughs> oh, but uh, I can't remember her name. Well, she's got a bad. I can't remember her name, I think it's like Laura or something, but you know, she's hot, so that's, that's all that matters. I'm not sexist or anything. Now, okay, hold on, let me, let me pause for a sec. When I first saw this part of the trailer, I didn't know who that was, but then somebody had to point out to me that that was Sakura, so I'm like, oh, this girl running with a Blanca is Sakura. That new hairstyle just threw me off. <laughs> Then I had to. Well, I watched it twice, and I was like, "Oh, that is Sakura." <laughs> I also didn't see the new characters thing, so I saw this character. She's clearly Egyptian. She's like Rashid, um, but Rashid more of like Arab or something, and she looks interesting. Then there's this guy right here. I'm, I'm kind of thinking that his name is Wizard. I know it's not, but he kind of reminds me of a wizard or a magician. Uh, I don't know anything about him besides that he likes to point at people. Now, I might be wrong, but I think this is Guy, because he's a ninja. This is the Hulk right here. I don't know who this guy is, but he took a lot of steroids. His reused body doesn't look like that. Um, probably final pause. Um, this character right here is the one who interests me the most. Now, I don't know who this guy is, and I think he might just be Cody, but Cody doesn't wear that kind of outfit, and if it is Cody, that's that's neat. I'm going to be mad, though, because I thought this is a different character. Um, but um, I'm hoping that this isn't Cody. It probably is, knowing me, knowing my luck, but um, this character interests me the most. I'm half expecting his name to be, like, Something Greek or something. I don't. I, I don't know. Okay. Maybe. Maybe he's like his name is like Carl or something. I'll have to look it up afterwards. But he's the one who interests me the most. That's slick animation, though.
I really like this animation, because it's like, oh, Ryu's so strong that he turns a whole ripped guy's body into jelly when he punches him. And so that's just on the ground with one punch. Now, okay, I lied, that wasn't the final pause, but you see this character on the right, everybody says that a lot of people didn't like him. Not not because he wasn't playable. So if you remember Ed from the first season, the kid with the hood, and he was friends with Balrog or something in Street Fighter V, that's who that is, in case anybody didn't know that. You probably all did before I did, because I didn't know Ed aged fast or something, because the time gap is really weird. But I knew that was Ed, and I saw his playstyle. He looks pretty easy to use. He looks pretty fun. Um, I, what, who I don't know is this person on the left. I'm assuming that's, like, his sister or something. But, I mean, I, I know Ed had a sister, and he's one of my favorite characters in Street Fighter V. So I wouldn't know, but, you know, Ed was pretty cool in Street Fighter V, so maybe he's cool. I like how they got the sweat animation, too. I kind of want the arcade edition. Alright. Awesome. So, like, thank you, Street Fighter, for that. Um... I I wanted to see that. That was great. Um, I'm glad I got to see this. This was pretty good. Um, Street Fighter V is looking really great this year. Or next year, sorry. 2018. January 16th. I want it because I want to see how where the story's going. I don't know who half of those new characters were, and I'm assuming some of them were characters that I've already seen. Like, like for for one thing, this trailer. First of all, this intro. Sorry, this intro confirms that Sagat is going to be in the game. So I thought that was really cool. The second thing that this confirms is that um, Ed is playable, although we already knew that. Soccer is also going to be in the game, um, and we get a few, a bunch of new characters, one of which is probably Cody, and I don't want it to be. As much as I like Cody, I'm rather, I'd rather he be his completely different character, rather than that guy. That guy broke out of prison, but you know, Cody's probably not in prison still, so, whatever. So, I mean... Yeah, I guess I just wanted to share that with you guys. Probably not going to get uploaded because, you know, Wi-Fi sucks, but... So, uh, I'll, I'll, um, uh, uh, thanks, guys. Can't see my thumbs up.